Water still surrounds this property on the edge of Pacific Junction, so close to the Missouri River. That's why the vice president came here to speak with the Lincoln family. First by air and then by foot, the vice president surveyed Southwest Iowa's devastation. I'm here on the president's behalf to say to this family and all the families across Iowa that we're with you. KCCI followed along as Pence walked through what once was a home, now a gutted mess. Nate Lincoln's family has called this their farm for more than a century. I think our problems are just starting. Everyone's just getting back to their homes. Um, the cleanup, cleanup process will take years. Uh, so I think the, the help with the cleanup process will probably be what's needed most. And that cleanup will take an estimated $1.6 billion. Pence, along with Governor Reynolds and U.S. Senators Joni Ernst and Chuck Grassley, want Congress to act now. It's, it's incredibly moving for me to be here, to see the, the magnitude of flooding that still exists, to see the devastation from the air a month on, and know that we're still waiting on Congress, still waiting on Congress to approve the funding that Iowa deserves. They're calling on Congress to put politics aside and support the disaster relief declaration and supplemental bill. The president's done his job, the governor's done her job, and now it's time for Democrats and Senate to do their job. The town of Pacific Junction is still evacuated. Those with emergency management say they're making slow progress, but time will tell when people can return. In Pacific Junction, Tommy Clark, KCCI News, I was news leader.